Sherpa Romeo is a great resource that lists copyright and archiving policies for publishers and journals. You can get to the database by going to www.sherpa.ac.uk slash Romeo. Sherpa Romeo can be confusing for first-time users and those not familiar with some publishing terms such as preprint and postprint or the Romeo colors. This short video is intended to explain these terms, show you how Sherpa Romeo works, and give you the confidence to use this resource on your own to look up archiving policies. Before we begin, let's go over the Romeo colors. Each color, green, blue, yellow, and white, corresponds to an archiving policy. If the journal is a white journal, archiving of any kind is not formally supported. If it is a yellow journal, you are permitted to archive the preprint. The preprint is a version of the article that is submitted to a journal. If the journal is a blue journal, you can archive the postprint or publisher's PDF. The postprint is the version that is accepted for publication after peer review but before typesetting. The publisher's PDF is the final published version complete with typesetting, graphics, and the publisher's logos. And finally, if a journal is a green journal, you can archive the preprint and postprint or publisher's PDF. Be careful when determining the archiving policies. Read the individual journal record carefully to ensure you can archive the publisher's PDF if it is a green or blue journal. Most commonly, you cannot archive the publisher's PDF, whether that is within a disciplinary repository, institutional repository, your personal website, or an academic network such as academia.edu or ResearchGate. To look at the journal policy, simply enter the journal title or ISSN to the search field. You may also look up publishers and search for the exact title starts with contains or ISSN. We will use the Western Journal of Nursing Research for this example. I've entered the title in now and will click search. The search results in one record which is brought up. If you have a more vague search term such as nursing, you will be shown a list of journals to pick from. Under the Western Journal of Nursing Research title, we can see that it is graded a Romeo Green Journal. As we just went over, this means you may archive the preprint and postprint or publisher's PDF. The record specifies that you can archive the preprint and postprint, but the publisher's PDF cannot be archived. The breakdown for preprint, postprint, and publisher's PDF is incredibly useful, but you may also find the general conditions section useful. Under general conditions, the following is listed. Authors retain copyright, Author's postprint may be archived on author's personal website, departmental website, institutional website, or institutional repository, but there is a 12-month embargo on other repositories, including PubMed Central. Pay attention to this section. For this journal, you may immediately archive your postprint on your personal website or an institutional website or repository, but not another repository for 12 months. If you wish to deposit in a disciplinary repository or any non-institutional repository, you will have to wait 12 months after publication. Keep in mind, you can deposit to both the institutional repository immediately and then your preferred disciplinary repository after 12 months. Additionally, the general conditions section includes further requirements such as the publisher copyright source must be acknowledged and you must link to the publisher version with DOI. You can gain further insight to the open access options of the journal, which will link out to the publisher's website, and you can view the copyright policy by clicking the link to the publisher's website. Sherpa Romeo provides a great resource and quick shortcut to finding out journal policies. I recommend confirming the list of policies with the journal either by looking at their website or directly asking the journal if their policies are not available on their website. Sherpa Romeo is perfect for a rule of thumb, but there may be policy change for the journal not reflected in Romeo. As you can see, this record was last updated on March 11, 2013. You can always ask a librarian for help. Finally, I would like to note that unfortunately not all journals or publishers are listed in Sherpa Romeo, and there are large disciplinary gaps. If your journal is not listed in Sherpa Romeo, you can typically find the policies on the journal website or by contacting the journal directly. Many small journals may not include policies on the website, but are often happy to permit archiving when asked. After you've confirmed your ability to archive your research, submit it to an institutional repository or another suitable repository. Thanks for going green and depositing your research.